Matt, today's days. What days are today, Kate? Some exciting days. We've got National Taco Day, mm. Nas- National Vodka Day, oh. Golf Lovers Day, and a little bit more somber than exciting is it's Yom Kippur. Yeah, kind of weird vodka on Taco Day. I know. Doesn't seem right. Mm-mm. Kind of weird, right? Yeah, it's not right. It's not right at all. But mm. you could have some vodka on the golf course. True. Yeah, yeah. Or you could just, you know, get some tequila. Get some silver tequila and call it vodka. <laughs> oh. No one will know. <laughs> no, no one will know. It'll be our little secret. A little tip for you. All right, so we've got a pumpkin spice scented soap in the bathroom, and we've got, I think it's supposed to be like booberry themed soap. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because there is a picture of a ghost ooh, on the soap, and it's a blueberry scented one. So I'm like, are they trying to go blueberry on us with this soap? Maybe. Hmm. Anyway, seasonal Bath soaps. Bath and Body Works does have some really great Halloween soaps out ooh, there. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, got, you go to the actual place, Bath and Body Works, you order online? What do you do? You can do both. What do you do? I try to avoid going there just for grins because mm-hmm. I feel like I buy too many things. But yeah. I also hate that there's no free shipping no matter how much you spend at Bath and Body Works. So I'm like, I'm not going to spend that much money and then pay for shipping. So I try to go in with a list. Yeah, that's good. And coupons. Yeah. It's like the whole, I was just reading the article too about, hey, if you want to have a better diet, and I think maybe we mentioned this on the show, like do the order online deal. That way you're not tempted mm-hmm. by things in there. So it works that way you don't make any, any impulsive soap purchases. Right. You know? Why did I buy so much pumpkin spice scented soap? I don't know. Yeah. Nah. And that's one thing you could keep around the house year round, you know? That is. Yeah, probably not going to expire as soon as your other pumpkin spice themed items might. Oh. I have... Too many winter slash Christmas soaps at my house because they were on sale after Christmas. And it was like, well, and I won't have to buy soap for forever. So got yeah. a bunch of the, the winter themed soaps. Do you feel like that takes something out of the season for you, though? Mm, no. no, not like in the bathroom. I feel like I've got citrusy. And yeah. I think in the kitchen, it's mostly a citrusy. I don't I can't get um I can't get too sugary like candied apple or vanilla. I can't do that. So I'm usually like still in my wheelhouse of scents, Mm -hmm. like fresh sparkling snow. I don't know how you would put a smell on that, but it's not real heavy. Oh, I I see. Like sometimes winter and fall smells can be thick. Does that make sense? That's why I was curious if people found it repulsive. You know, if someone came into our bathroom in, I don't know, July, that may may be actually just right for some people in march and then it's pumpkin scented in there you know yeah like (laughs) what is this what kind of business is this you know get out of here pumpkin spice like the poop joke humor on the walls is kind of funny but uh this pumpkin spice themed soap here in march i don't know about this sketch (laughs) can i trust them (laughs) matt it's taco tuesday and you know what you need for taco tuesday probably some tacos a fiesta flask a fiesta flask. Okay. Is this for Okay, guess what a fiesta flask is? It is a flask that has tequila in there. You are partly correct. Okay, I give up. What is it? Wow. So <laughs> easy. Okay, well, it's a flask made out of a tortilla. <laughs> that would be good. No, this is actually very classy. It is a two part flask. And on one side, it's tequila and on the other side it's hot sauce i thought you were gonna guess oh okay i was like are you okay (laughs) (laughs) no i thought you were gonna guess so one side's tequila the other side is hot sauce and Hmm. you can win one through camarina tequila have you heard of camarina tequila no i don't think so maybe i'd recognize i haven't either but they look legit with this uh, beautiful flask. You can see the picture in our notebook. Yeah, I see. I'm opening it now. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it might look like. Wow. Huh. No tortilla flask here. I wonder how does it, I guess there's like a little shutoff valve so you don't accidentally pour both things at the same time. 
I would presume that's it, unless you're like willing to get pretty aggressive with your tequila and your taco. I mean, right, right. Yeah. So you can win your own Fiesta Flask from Can- Camarina Tequila by going to their Instagram account. And it's a partnership with Tapatio. Tapatio? How do you say that? Tapatio? I would say Tapatio. Tapatio. Yeah, Tapatio. So what's wrong with me? Uh, <laughs> you need the Fiesta Flask. That's what's wrong with you. <laughs> Once again, this is a good opportunity for me to say, hey, you know what? I took 16 hours of Spanish in college. <laughs> Ole. Ole. Matt, what do you call pumpkins that swim and save lives? Pumpkins that swim and save lives? Mm hmm. Uh, pump, uh, let's see. We'll put save like So if there's a lifeguard, pumpkin life. I give up. What is it? The Coast Gourd. Boo. <laughs> right? You were so Coast close. Coast Gourd. I was nowhere close. You said lifeguard. I thought you'd get gourd out of there. Uh, no. Nope. Okay. Not sharp enough. There's a punny for you today. Thanks, Kate. Mm-hmm. How many plants do you have in your house, Kate? Real or fake? Real ones. How many real ones you got in there? Zero. This article said 89% of consumers owned at least two house plants in 2021. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. This is according to a floral marketing fund report. So they have a hmm. reason to try to peer pressure people into buying more house plants by Saying, like, you know, you're, everybody's doing it. Come on. You know you want some. Right? I feel like the least amount of peer pressure with plants. I know that I'm not good at keeping them alive, so yeah. I'm not doing it. Okay. <laughs> I have two fake plants. Well, 100% of the hosts on Matt and Kate do not have live house plants. Right. Womp womp. Womp womp. Hey, I got tomatoes. You know, but they're outside. That's a, Okay. It's like, that's a plant, though. Doesn't so yay count. for you. Well, plants are good for you. They're good to have in your house. Ah. Yeah. If they're alive. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. Yeah. I think the reminder of a dead plant on my <laughs> counter would be like, wow, there's one more thing you did not do well, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that that would, this article is like, we have decreases in anxiety and stress when we have plants in our home. Or you could also take a hike, it says here, but I mean... It, What's more work, Kate, taking hikes or watering plants? I mean, I'm already in charge of keeping kids and a dog alive. Yeah? I don't, yeah. And I'm, and I'm doing okay at that. I don't think I should rock the boat. <laughs> it seems like a plant would be easier to keep alive than animals, children. You would think. You would think. Kill them every time. Oh, dear. Yeah, not good. What about you? Are you going to get some plants now? I probably should, really. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I'm able to maintain a garden, including watering when needed. I might be able to pull this off, Kate. This could be another area where I exhibit some personal growth. There you go. Do it for the show, if right. not for anything else. Exactly. For the show. Matt, Netflix Junkie says a pair of Jordans by Kanye West are up for sale for $3.5 million. Okay. I know. <laughs> The shoes were never released, and now they're going to be sold by Christie's. $3.5 million. That dude knows how to jack up the price on some shoes, doesn't he? He does. Hmm. What's the story behind these shoes? Do you know? I don't know the story behind the shoes, but I know that other celebrities are selling things with their name on it, and they can be quite extravagant. Mm-hmm. So I thought maybe you'd like to play Celebrity Shopping Spree. Do, 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 do. Celebrity shopping spree. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, it is a celebrity who schleps this item and what the price mm-hmm. is. Okay. So, Beyonce, her daughter, inspired this line, Ivy Park. She's got a pink Ultra Boost sneaker. So, it's for children. Okay. How much do Beyonce's Ivy Park pink Ultra Boost sneakers sell for? or $200? 800, 500, 200. Okay. Mm, I'll say 800. That's what I would have guessed, Mm. but it's actually 200. Oh, well, that's quite reasonable. I I would disagree, but you know. (laughs) Okay. To each their own. Yeah. I don't think my children 
have been in $200 shoes. I don't know that I, okay, maybe I have been in $200 shoes. I, I haven't. I yeah. I think so. I think they were my wedding shoes. So oh, yeah. maybe I did spend $200. Yeah. Still have those? I do. Hmm. We did Nike shocks that we designed ourselves. Ooh. Yeah. That's so fun. they've got our colors and they've got our wedding date and they've got a little That's awesome. secret encryption for each other on it. Yeah. Wow. Inscription? Well, it's encrypted. You wouldn't guess it. Oh, it's encrypted. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fun. Rihanna, Rihanna, Riri. You decide, dear listener. <laughs> yep. Her Fenty Icon refillable lipstick case. Refillable lipstick case. Okay. Sells for $200, $500, or $1,000. Please be $200. Please be $200. Yeah. You wish. $500. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. What is this sign? What's this thing do? It's a refillable lipstick case. So when your lipstick is out, you can put the new stick in. Okay. It's yeah. one stick. One stick. Okay. I was like, am I supposed to picture like a coach bag full of lipstick or what? Okay. Right. You would think for $500, it would be yeah. a room. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Okay. Justin Bieber's Drew House bear-shaped rug. Oh, God. I know. Drew... <laughs> House bear shaped rug. Does it sell for six fifty, four hundred, or seven hundred? Six fifty, four hundred, or seven hundred. Mm-hmm. Six fifty. Four hundred dollars for Damn. a Justin Bieber Drew House bear shaped rug. I don't know who buys these things, but people are buying them. Okay, so we are playing a celebrity fashion. Wait, what's it called? Celebrity shopping spree. Celebrity shopping spree. Yes, celebrities sell merch for lots of money, and Kate tries to see if she can fool me into guessing incorrectly. So far, so good. Yeah, uh, so far, so good. <laughs> Drake sells wool jackets. Okay, so you can get a wool jacket from Drake's line. Okay. Okay. Are you going to purchase this wool jacket for one thousand? Twelve hundred or five hundred dollars. I'll go with twelve hundred on this one. Sounds expensive. Whoop. Very well done. Twelve hundred for a wool jacket from Drake. And you too can look like Drake. All it takes is a twelve hundred dollar wool jacket. Yeah, that's all it takes. Good to know. This one I'm not really sure about. This is Victoria Beckham. So she's posh spice. I had to think about yeah, which spice right. girl she was. Uh, she is Mrs. David Beckham, Romeo and Brooklyn's mom. Anyway, she is very <laughs> posh. Do you know their kids' names? Romeo, Brooklyn, Cruz, and Harper. Why? Do you know all that? Because I do. Oh, okay. I didn't know you. But you didn't remember which spice she was. I did, it took me a second. Posh wow. spice. Okay. Are you, are you a big fan of theirs? I, I mean, Spice Girls or Beckhams or... Y- y- well... It's pop culture. In this case, the Beckhams. And they're kids. Pop culture. Why yeah. do you know, why? Okay. Hmm, something. Yep. <laughs> All right. Because the same way you know celebrity, other kid, other celebrity kids' names. Okay. Maybe. Like you just. Okay. Uh, Katy Perry's right. kid's name is Daisy Dove, right? I should, right. I shouldn't know that. That's, that's silly, but you're, you're Beyonce's right. Beyonce's daughter is Ivy. That's right. Yeah. Gwyneth Paltrow's Apple and Moses. Mm-hmm. Um, Tom Cruise, Surrey, Connor, and Isabella. I forgot he had that many kids. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed you know all them, too. I feel like I could... Okay. Mariah Carey uh-huh. has Morocco and Monroe. It's pretty good. Okay. I'll have to do that game someday. Yeah. Okay. Is this a celebrity child name or not? Right, right. Okay. But that's not this game. This game is... This is celebrity, celebrity shopping, shopping spree. spree. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> we're really good about staying on topic yeah, hey i think we've got we've improved we've gotten better yes yeah. maybe just not in this game <laughs> not now <laughs> failing now but that's okay that's okay that's all right yeah victoria beckham has a camel the first thing is to acknowledge you have a problem <laughs> navy coat okay i'm sorry what was that again i uh, know i'm too busy agreeing with you about the okay. first step is admitting yes mm-hmm. okay Victoria Beckham yes. has a camel navy coat. Camel navy. 
Okay. I don't know what that means. Me neither. I was counting on Camel you. is a color. Okay. Uh, Camel navy, navy is a color. Yeah. Okay. Does <laughs> she sell this coat <laughs> for 1900 Okay. 900 or 2200 I'll say this one's 900 I would have gone with that as well, but we but both would have been wrong because it's twenty two hundred. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's made out of camels. Maybe, but then wouldn't it be a navy camel coat instead of camel navy? Yeah, yeah. putting the descriptor in front of the noun. Yeah, think, adjective. Yeah. yeah, I think with the English language. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to look into this and get back with the listener. But she's super British, so maybe they do things differently. Her teeth are that bad, huh? Right. Probably not, actually. They're probably okay teeth, right? I would assume. Probably got some veneers. Yeah. And I have thoroughly lost celebrity shopping spree. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Da, 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 da. You have one, right? <laughs> Yay. Did you know, quote, I'm going to eat better is not a good approach to dieting, Kate? Did you know that? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to eat better has got to be a better approach than I'm going to eat all the pizza. <laughs> I give up. Yeah. yeah I'm going to get, eat better is better than I give up. That's true. I, yes. I ran into this article and I was like, hey, this might be helpful. This might be helpful to some Matt and Kate listener out there. So let's share it. Okay. So okay. they say pick one or two specific rules. Don't overwhelm yourself. I have all kinds of rules or whatever. But for example, I don't eat dessert during the week. Or I don't do any sugary drinks or fried food, something like that. Just a, okay, okay. a specific rule. And as mentioned earlier on the show, in fact, actually make a grocery list and shop online. But beware the ads. Beware the, beware the ads when you're shopping online. You know, mm-hmm. that gets you. Uh, sleeping. If you're not sleeping well, <laughs> this, sounds, this sounds pretty cruel. They did a sleep study. They did a study, right? Yeah, so the study, they allowed these people to sleep only four hours a night for five nights. Mm. That sounds like they can get rough there by the end. That sounds terrible. Yeah. And so when these people did that, they ate 550 more calories than the other group did. When they're tired? Yeah. So if you're sleep deprived, you're eating worse. They've done a study. They deprive people of sleep and then they had them track their food and found that those that were deprived of their sleep ate 550 extra calories each day. I think that definitely makes sense. Yeah. On those days when you're like super sluggish, didn't sleep great, I'm exhausted, I'm going to just stop and get a Dr. Pepper. Right. And then when you're there, you're like, well, if I'm going to do a Dr. Pepper, why not do a bag of chips or why not do a fries? Or, right, right. Exactly. Yeah. That makes good sense. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat alone. We- <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat alone? Yeah. Don't eat alone, Kate. Okay. They say when you actually eat with family and friends, you take the time to put together an actual meal. You know, you're more likely to have vegetables, proteins, like quality stuff. Okay. As opposed to like, yeah, if you go back to your example, I'll take a Dr. Pepper and a supersize the fry and that's dinner. Or yeah. Whatever. It's not so, good. Yeah. Eating, eating, alone, eating alone can make you do some. some Overeating. Some reckless consumption. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, there's some things I highlighted from this deal about science e food type stuff. Good luck. Hopefully that solves any and all of our listeners' dietary uh, needs. Or maybe it's a step in the right direction. Yes. There you go. Thanks. Matt, we've talked a lot about online shopping today. Yeah. Like grocery shopping. Mm-hmm. And one of my girlfriends was telling me that she does not like to do online grocery shopping because she likes to pick her own produce. I said, okay, I haven't had bad luck with picking my own produce, but I mean, I understand, but I don't spend as much. And she said, here's my trick. When I'm at home, I go through as if I'm going to online shop, I put everything in the cart. And then when I get to the store, that's my list. And I just go from the cart and I empty the cart as I put the things in my cart. And then I only get the things that are on my list because I've put them in my cart. Oh, wow. I thought, that's a really good idea. Now, why not just go ahead and follow through and order the. Because thing? she doesn't want, she wants to be able to pick her own produce. Oh, I see. That, that, that's why. Yeah. So she wants to go in and get her own produce and meats. 
which I understand. I know some people are kind of weird about that. I have yeah. had very, very few times that I've had to re- like go into the app and say, okay, my produce wasn't very good. But yeah. Walmart especially is really good about let's make it right. And they refund me within like two hours. Yeah, and they don't, don't make you bring stuff back, right? No, no. And the app is very apologetic about it too. We don't want your gross bananas. Yeah. <laughs> We're sorry you didn't like those peppers. Here are your four dollars left or back. They should sell returned produce. Yeah, it'd be an option. Ew. <laughs> well, you don't want produce that's made its way to someone else's house before it went back and to back. Walmart and then to you? Hmm, okay. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of dangerous. Boring. Whatever. Costco CEO says they're gonna keep the price of their combo the costco combo which is a hot dog deal i guess for a buck 50 and it's been that way since 1985 he's committed to to that price forever is how he said it more or less forever those things help us be more aggressive in other areas hold the price on the hot dog and the soda a little longer forever <laughs> That's what he said buck 50 for that now we're a sam's club show mm-hmm. matt and cater mm-hmm. sam's club well and Closest Costco's in Kansas City. So, and I think I'd, I'd prefer Sam's anyway, having been to Costco just a few times. But do you do any of that stuff at Sam's, like their little food area? Yes. Yeah? Yep. What's going on there? What's their equivalent of that? Do you know? Uh, I can't tell you prices, but I know that they have a hot dog. <laughs> they have a hot dog. combo. Or they have a pizza pop combo. Hot dog and a pop. I know they've got uh, something else. Yeah. No, they've... They've got churros, They've, but we love Sam's Club Pizza. Like, do you go to dinner there, or? No, we don't. We'll do carry out. Like, okay. I know that we're going to grab some things, and so I'll go to the concession stand first, order a pizza. Oh, okay. Go shop, come oh, back, get our pizza, and get out. I was going to say, it's not like a hot and ready kind of situation. They do have pizza by the slice. Right, right. Hot and ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no, you have to order it. Never tried it. I'll take it and try sometime. It's pretty good. Yeah. Elliot usually will, if we're just there for like a slice, Elliot will do either a pretzel or a hot dog versus a pizza. Piece of pizza. Yeah, I went there last week and there were sample people all over the place. I had not oh, seen. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is that new? I have not been there with sample people, so. Okay. Yeah. There's, there were sample people. Missing out. Yeah. But back in my day, there were sample ladies, I think. Yes. But now there's, they've got a much more diverse set of sampling people now at Sam's Club. So, yeah, I didn't partake. I'm not one to consume samples, but uh, they're there. They're back. So, How do you know if you, yes, I, if you will like the food? I, that's not the type of food I typically would buy. Okay. Because like, like, typically like frozen food, right, that they're cooking up in a little toaster oven or something. Mm, mm-hmm. So. That's how we figured out the chicken nuggets at Sam's that we oh. can't live without. See. Maybe mm-hmm. if I went later in the day, because you know, it's outside my eating window, I it's, it's too maybe too early. Maybe if I push okay. it back to the end of the day or something, I could go find a couple of sample stations to eat dinner. <laughs> eat dinner at. There you go. Yeah. Matt, a 27 year old man in Cleveland called 911. Because his sister stopped his laundry. That sounds about right. Yeah. We were due for one of these stories. Someone called 911 for some really stupid reason. This brother and sister live with their grandma, grown adults. And it sounds like he was doing all his laundry at once. Uh, He was on his third load and his sister was really tired of waiting. So she took his clothes out and started doing her own laundry. He called the cops. Oh, sounds reasonable to me. Yep. So they arrested her. Yeah. No, they didn't. I was waiting for you to be like, really? And I'd say, no. no. Well, yeah, I, I, they, they didn't arrest? Okay. They did not right. arrest her. They said, wow. work it out like grownups and call your grandma and not us. <laughs> yeah, call your grandma to complain. The, the, you live at your grandma's house fighting yep. over the, the laundry machine. Maybe one, one of them should go to the laundry mat. You know, use some of that money that you're saving on rent. Right. Maybe they're paying rent. I shouldn't jump to conclusions. They might be paying someone's. No, they're not. Probably not. <laughs> Probably I'm, not. I'm thinking no. So don't call the cops because your sibling stops your laundry and starts doing yours. Correct. Yes. To be clear. Yes. Don't, don't call the cops for that. It may have sounded like I meant that you should do that and that that guy should have 
and that she should have been arrested, but no, don't do that. Nope. Mm-mm. 